Award-nominated Prison Break. It stars Australian actor Dominic Purcell as a man on death row for a crime he didn't commit. And in the series pilot, he is joined behind bars by his younger brother, who in turn has a plan, a rather elaborate plan, to break them both out. He's certainly heroic. He's a good man on a hero's journey. He's trying to save his brother's life, but he's also driven by um, some, uh, some darker impulses, I think. It takes a certain sort of individual, uh, one with, I think, um, some demons, perhaps, to attempt to do something as crazy as get himself thrown into a prison in order to free his brother. All I keep thinking and looking back on it is uh, I was set up. And whoever it was that set me out wants me in the ground as quickly as possible. Now, your co-star, Dominic, is Australian. Is this your first time down under? It is. Did he give you yeah. a, a list of places to check out? Yeah, but they're all surfing places, oh. which is meaningless to me, because I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, surfing was unfortunately not part of the culture. And uh, then I saw Jaws at the wrong age. You know, there are many horrible ways to die, but I think being a, a <laughs> snack <Bake>. cake, <laughs> a snack cake, yeah, for a great white, would probably, probably be the worst. Now, we're here to talk about prison break. Mm. It's a huge hit both in America and across the world. Yeah. Tell me, what do you think about, you know, prison culture that fascinates people? Well, I think, I think prison is a, uh, it's a real life horror story. It could in fact happen to you. I mean, we'd like to think that uh, there's a really distinct line between us and them. But uh, in the States at least, you know, you drive down the highway and uh, you see those signs that uh, say if you hit a construction worker, it's um, 10 years in prison, automatic really? sentence. So if you sneeze at the wrong time, you could wind up in a, in a maximum security facility. So you're the new one I've been hearing all the rave reviews about. Schofield. One thing's for sure, you're just as pretty as advertised. Prettier even. <laughs> I didn't have to do a whole lot of research. Um, didn't have time because I was actually cast in the part uh, a week before we started shooting. And then we shot the first season in a uh, actual um, prison. Um, yes. Joliet State Penton outside of Chicago. What was it like walking um, in on set? It was a little like picnicking in a graveyard. It was a oh. prison that was operating for 150 years. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're surrounded by these walls, um, working on a site where so many men lived and suffered and, uh, and many died. Dominic Purcell, they, they shot his scenes when he's in solitary confinement in the same cell where John Wayne Gacy, one of America's first documented and most notorious serial yes. killers, was held for Did a period of time. Did he experience any weird feelings or anything Dominic going on? I, that... Dominic and I are particularly sensitive to, to what some might call the supernatural. You've seen the blueprints? Better than that. I've got them on me. suffering for your art, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is. I thought it would be so much cooler going in. And it was in the first episode, you know, I felt with the full body tattoo on that I was this kind of uh, walking work of art. But um, it's a four to five hour pl uh, process to apply the thing. And, was that um, every day or did you leave it once on? Once an episode. Once an episode. Because it immediately starts to disintegrate. So we put it on in the morning, shoot all the scenes that required um, the tattoo that day, and then scrub it off with uh, chemical solvents that oh, night. Oh no, how's your um, skin <laughs> survive? Yeah, uh, nicely exfoliated actually, but very dry. <laughs> Now, the first 21 episodes of season one of Prison Break will be shown back to back on Fox 8, January 26 from 7 a.m. as part of a Prison Break Slamathon. The series final will be shown at 7:30 p.m. on February 1. Now, 